When you sell a sports card on eBay, something as simple as the pricing strategy that you pick can make a big impact on the final selling value. And of course, I'm talking about buy it now versus auctions. But which one do you use and how do you decide? In today's video, I'm going to answer that question and you'll be surprised just how much money you can make by picking the right one. A little while ago, I did a study with this. I'm gonna put my study up on the screen beside me. Nice. In the study, I took seven cards and looked up recent comps for what the PSA 10s had sold for. I looked at the last three sells for each, buy it now and auction, and then I found an average to compare. The numbers are honestly pretty astounding. For example, for the Luca rookie, they were averages selling for $900 as a buy it now, and as an auction, they were averaging $825 a $75 difference. The differences get a little steeper though when you move back to some Hall of Famers like this Dick Butkus that I looked up. At a PSA 6 level the buy it nows were selling for a thousand the auctions were selling for $575 and this wasn't a huge surprise but across the board auctions sold for 14% less than buy it now and I guess the numbers are just telling a story that if you're in doubt just use buy it now. I'd personally recommend overshooting on the price that way you can come back down when somebody sends you an offer and come to a term where everybody's happy. But auctions aren't always a bad strategy either. So when should you use an auction? Think about it this way. Google Trends is a great way to illustrate the point I'm trying to make. For example, Joe Namath is widely regarded the greatest Jets quarterback of all time. So let's look at his trend line. As an NFL Hall of Famer and a franchise cornerstone, he does get some search traffic every single day. But let's compare that to the current Jets quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is the red line here, and it clearly shows us that he has way more search volume, and there's just way more interest in him every day across the in every single state. So no matter how amazing a player is, if he's a Hall of Famer, I'm always gonna use a buy it now because there's just gonna be less daily search traffic for the people that are retired. If you're ever doing an auction, you want people who are making headlines actively because people are going to be searching their name a lot and there's gonna be more eyeballs on your listing, thus giving it a chance to sell for more money. The second reason to pick an auction over a buy it now is just if you want a finite ending date. Perhaps you need the money at a certain time. Maybe you have a vacation on the horizon. You wanna be sure that you get all your packages shipped before you leave. Whatever your personal reason, a time constraint of some sort is another great reason to pick an auction, especially if you have a player that's actively playing and actively making some headlines. So with all that in mind, we're going back to the Rafi Devers card that I started listing and we're going to decide how to price it. Devers, based on what I just said, he's one that can go either way. He's making a lot of headlines right now. Just a couple weeks ago, he broke a seat with a home run. He's been playing very well this year, so I don't think there's anything wrong with an auction. A buy it now would ensure that I get the absolute most money here, but for the sake of what I'm doing with the video, especially with part of this video gonna be about how to ship cards after they sell, I want to ensure that it sells in the next week, so I'm personally going to pick an auction since he's an active player making headlines. I don't think that's a bad move. So we're gonna do an auction. And I'm going to put a 99 cent bid on it. It's something I always do. If I'm selling something that's maybe a $10,000 card, maybe I reconsider, but I just like starting it low, getting a lot of views, getting a lot of watchers, and I think that's the best way to maximize what it sells for. No reserve price. If you're gonna do a reserve price, just do a buy it now. I'm going to schedule my listing to start at 7 p.m. You always want something to end during like prime time. People are not at work, people are on their phones, people have time to buy stuff on eBay. And with that, we are going to list my card. All right, got that listed, but let's say for sake of argument, you would have wanted to do a buy it now. And the big question there is how do you price a buy it now? So let's look at how to find some comps on eBay. To start, you always wanna to try to find a recent sell of the exact specific card. I typed in the name of the card. It's a 90, it's numbered to 99, so that's why we put 99 there. So there's one of them listed as a PSA 10 for $138. Mine's obviously not a PSA 10, so that's not a great comp. On this left side of the screen here, and on the mobile, it's you click on the three lines, it's a little drop down, but you can do it on mobile too. We're going to go to sold items. Then on the sort, we're going to make sure it's on ended recently. So here's a Rafi Devers Auto number to 99 that sold on May 27th. That was a little while ago, but it sold for $32 with $4 shipping. There's a number to 15 that sold fairly recently for $105. And I'm gonna just look through here and just see what they're selling for recently. July 1st, one sold for best offer accepted, 32. Here's a 99, this is the exact same card that I have. I don't know why this didn't populate in the results. This one sold for $31 on May 1st, but it really looks like, let me remove the 99. It looks like nothing has sold recent enough. Like he's been really hot lately. So I think his value's probably gone up a little bit. Um, and I don't see anything that's sold super recently that I think is a great comp. 
This number to 50 gold sold for 50 bucks, but that was again the end of May. So what I would probably do after seeing all of these, if I was listing it as a buy it now, is I would subscribe to cardlines.com. All you have to do is just hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and then if you want to ring the notification bell so you never miss another one of our videos, that's going to help us keep making great videos for you. It hurts. Most of the people who watch our videos don't actually subscribe to the channel, and when you don't subscribe, it doesn't really do a whole lot for us on YouTube, so we end up eating ramen. Lots of ramen. So do me a favor and be sure to subscribe. The other thing I would do is looking at the prices of some of these current ones that are listed in some of the recent sales, I would add a buffer. It looked like they were selling for $35 to $40 at the number to $99, but I'm gonna round up and I'd list it for probably $59.99 because like I said, he's been playing very well lately. And two, there just haven't been any recent comps at that $99 level. If you ask for 60 bucks, somebody offers you 50, that's a good number. You get $10 more than what they've been selling for, but you can also come down $10 and make the buyer very happy. When you sell buy it now, our best offer gives you some flexibility to negotiate and make sure everybody feels like they win. In our next video, we're going to be looking at what you do after an auction sells. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one. See you then.